what's up guys so in this video I think I'm going to just go over my gear loadout and what I took on my last trip to uh, the Red River Gorge and just kind of go over some of the gear that I tested out some new gear that I'm using and uh, yeah and this baby is really light I think my base weight is somewhere around the 10 pound range uh, and I have not unpacked this since I got back from my River for Gorge uh, trip uh, check that that uh, video out I'll leave a link to it in the description or I'll put a card up or something but uh, the first piece of gear I want to talk about is this backpack right here man and I think I'm gonna do another just in-depth review on this bad boy right here this is the cs40 by outdoor vitals and man it is so comfortable i can't even ex begin to explain to you how comfortable it is i love these straps i love the way that it rides on your back it has two carbon fiber stays uh, that allow uh, the weight to transfer to your hips i love these hip belt pockets I love the, I mean, the hip belt. I love the hip belt and I love the hip belt pockets. But I love the way this thing just rides on your back, man. It just, this is the most comfortable pack I've ever used. And, man, I love it. Uh, I like another color besides white, but hey, this is cool. And I love how stretchy this back mesh pocket is. Um, you know, to me, I got my gear dialed down to just really being real minimal, and uh, I needed a, a more minimalist pack, and this pack has really done the job for me, so uh, I love this pack. So let's just dig into what I got in this mesh pocket. Uh, my rain jacket, which is just some ultralight frog togs um, a cook kit uh, I actually got a uh, video review on this this cook kit I'll put a card up or a link in the description whatever uh, one of my luxury items I usually bring with me because uh, I don't like trying to sip out of a hot titanium mug so I do bring my coffee mug with me and it needs to be washed out um, my medical kit which I don't have a whole lot in my med kit just uh, got some scissors like a few band-aids and some gauze uh, my toothbrush and toothpaste, I need to get that out of there. Uh, just some ibuprofen and some Tylenol PM. And some alcohol pads. A little bit of tape. And this is like a wound dressing. Just in case I get cut up pretty good in the, in the old backwoods. But that's my, and I just got it in a little Sea of Summit bag. And this, this pack here is made of Ultra Weave. Uh, and it is waterproof. But the seams are not sealed or taped. And so, uh, water can get in there. But what I do is, is a lot of people use like Nylaflume. Uh, pack liners or something along the lines of that or like a trash compactor bag me I just put everything that I don't want to get wet in dry bags and I love my dry bags and they I mean I'm not trying to get too crazy sub you know uh, 10 pounds uh, this is my poop kit which I just got squished up roll of toilet paper and uh, a deuce trial in there my 
my water filtration, which I got the knock vector bag, and I have the platypus quick draw, which I really like. And man, I'm a huge fan of Sawyer. Um, I love what Sawyer does. And they make an awesome filter. And what sold me on this is the fact that the like the gaskets, little gasket thing in here, it kind of just stays in there. Um, where Sawyer's, their, their gaskets want to fall out. And so, um, I don't know, I've lost a bunch of them. And I just don't like things that could drop and I can lose. I just, and I hate that. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to crap on Sawyer by no means. They make a great product and uh, I've used their filter for a long time. I just like this one. And by the way, I'll have links in the description for all these things if you want to check them out. Um, can of gas. I think it's just a uh, string just to hang up my food food bag and this is a z-pax fanny pack that I have I actually got this I bought this off of um, uh, smolder outdoors man pretty cool guy uh, he had it so cheap I couldn't turn it down and it actually just became my ditty bag and it just holds everything. My flex tail tiny pump, uh, my headlamp, uh, just some cords, uh, power bank, uh, repair kit, and camera batteries, and a lighter, extra lighter. And some AAA batteries for my headlamp. And, and then a couple patches for my Thermo Rest sleeping pad. And all that came out of this mesh pocket. I think I, I don't think I got anything in my, oh, I got a couple of stickers from some guys and gals that I met on my, my trip in the gorge. I will put them, they will definitely be going somewhere. So I don't, I done took my food bag out and I done took my clothing bag out, but I have come to really, really like these dry sacks that Zen Bibby sells and I use this one for my clothes and it's got this little valve right here that when you put whatever you're putting in there and you roll it up it'll let air out but it won't let air in and it will actually vacuum seal almost uh, you can really compress whatever you got in there if you got clothes or if you got your sleeping bag or whatever in it and man like I said I would I'd rather have everything that I want dry in a dry sack like this layered up because I could take it out individually instead of fighting with that Nylofoon uh, pack liner. I just, I ain't been, I ain't, I'm not a huge fan of that. I've tried it, I just don't like it. And then this here is my Outdoor Vitals uh, Fortius two-person tent. Super light. Uh, super sturdy tent, man, uh, for what it is. I, I really, really like this. Um, been using this for a while now. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, there are a few other tents out there I would like to try. And 
then I got my sleeping pad in this dry sack and that's actually my Thermarest uh, Neolite I think is what it's called XLT NXT or something like that anyways it's their their newest one is supposed to be quieter than the rest 25 by 77 I think is what it is and last but not least the sleep system that I tested out this weekend and man this is the core bed by Zen Bibby and I have a first impressions video on that I'll put up here um, and man it is I mean it's it's a little heavier it's 25 degree um, but man this thing is so comfortable and I can't really tell the difference in weight between it and my light bed um, but I got a larger size in the light bed than I got in the core bed so uh, I think they're probably pretty pretty close in uh, um, in weight but I will be doing a comparison between the core bed and the light bed um, and uh, man I tested this thing out this weekend and man it's so stinking comfortable it ain't even funny so man highly recommend anything from Zen Bibby, whether it be the light bed or the core bed either one man um, a lot of people talked about and you can see it, it's this is probably as compressed as it's going to get and right next to my two person tent you can see um, you know they take up a little bit of real estate in your backpack but um, for the comfort and I mean for real I mean I still I wasn't starving this is a 40 liter pack and I wasn't uh, starving for any space I had uh, plenty of water I had three days worth of food so uh, it didn't it didn't take up uh, more uh, real estate in my pack than I was willing to give did, did uh, an amazing job so I don't know and it got down chilly and you know the way this system set up man I didn't get no drafts matter of fact it got down in the 30s and I slip in my underwear <laughs> in this thing so uh, yeah it'll keep you warm and this pack I mean it weighs nothing 27 ounces I think 1.6 pounds I think is what that is uh, and you know and I, I, I spared I spared no uh, I didn't I didn't baby this thing you know it got tossed on the ground it uh it, it, it's 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 a tough pack the most comfortable pack I've ever 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 carried in my life I love this I mean and it does that and it's it's a it's got a I don't want to say a frame it's got two stays carbon fiber stays so it flex this way and it flex this way as well so you got flex in multiple ways it's just man the way it rides on your back and this foam that it has right here the way it just sits and the way the carbon fiber stay, stays contour to the lumbar of your back it's I mean and I had uh, I had to carry quite a bit of water on my last little push up a hill and man it, 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 did, it did great so there's my gear loadout um, base weight 10 pounds 10 or 11 pounds uh, it ain't quite 11 pounds uh, to see exactly what it weighs I will put uh, the link to my lighter pack in there you could check out everything out that's in this pack uh, along with the links that I have in the description thank you guys